Oh my god! First, oh my god, I'm gonna wake up my roommate. I'm gonna wake up my roommate. Oh my god. <laughs> the first sigil I'm ever part of. It's an and it's an Ellie. Thank you, thank you, Aaron Jesus. Oh my god. All right, Cole is trading me the stuff. Oh, I already have the stuff, but okay. Oh, 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 oh. All right, I don't know how to use this. I don't know how to. I don't know how to make this. You need 88 five smithing, 90 prayer, a hammer, and a blessed spirit shield. Oh, I need to bless this. Okay. Use Elijah sigil. On the anvil. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> All right. He's trading me my split now. I had I I have fewer than seventy kills at Corp. I've never been part of a drop at Corp before in my life. And the first drop I'm part of, oh my god, two hundred and forty six mil split. Oh my god. I'm gonna pass out. This is amazing. Oh my god, is this real life? Oh oh look at my ca oh my cash stack is beautiful again. I paid Cal back and my cash stack was making me sad and now it's delicious. Okay, so I think my bank value was down to a little bit under 500 mil before that. Let's check it now. Okay, it's taking a long time. Ooh, 700 mil now. Fuck yeah. Hey, look, I'm back to doing more corp because I'm greedy. No, that's actually not why I was invited to go. Oh, I didn't. No, we weren't. I'm not supposed to be going, I don't think, because Josh isn't back. All right, fine, we're going. Anyway, I'm doing more corp because... I mean, the luck has got to continue, right? Probably not, but I'll probably grow until I run out of Kawam Bams and then do something else. All right, well, of course, we didn't get any cool drops from Corp this time, which is fine. I'm going to go ahead and sell off the things I got from Corp yesterday, like the small drops, as well as just some loots I've gotten from Slayer over the last week, and uh, I'll see how much additional money we can add into the cash pile before I start buying stuff. That's actually not too bad. I got an additional 6.3 mil just from selling uh, the drops from Corp, the little drops from Corp, and uh, some Slayer drops from over the last week or so. Uh, about half of that came from two Onyx Bolt drops that I got from... Actually, it might have been three? I don't I remember how many drops. Oh, no, it's only two. Okay. There were 350 bolts, and I guess so I got it twice. So that is how much money we have to play with now. That's a lot of money I didn't have before. I am probably going to go ahead and buy some... Potentially some new gear, maybe some um, ornament kits to make some of my current gear untradeable, and then I might... I'll probably add some more to my play around house because uh, I oh, I also just actually actually just added the um, the demonic theme to my house. I'll show you right now. That's the wrong rune. Um, the it's, if you did the Halloween event this past fall, you can uh, overhaul your house decoration with this theme, and it looks way cooler than anything else that you can get. It costs thirty five k at one of the house guys to make it this theme. It looks awesome. So uh, I already did this, and I think I'm gonna go ahead and actually build a theme into my garden here um, probably upgrade my portals to marble and we'll see how it looks after that alright so I did dump some wealth into my player owned house as you can see I built the volcanic theme for my superior garden which could use some touching up looks a little bit wonky you get these green lines with the grasses underneath and of course there's grass around the spirit tree although I think I've been told that the uh, the J mods are willing to look at uh, changing that so it fits with the theme the theme itself costs six onyx each of these benches cost one onyx, and uh, you can't sit on them, even though for some reason it is a sit-on option. When uh, when you try to build it, it gives you a warning saying, this is purely for decoration. Do you want to do it anyway? Because you're using an onyx on each one, and I said yes, because they look sweet. Got the topiary in the shape of Zora, which I thought was pretty cool, and of course I already had my pool. Um, and I would love to have the really cool obsidian fence around the garden, but I don't and I can't because it requires a bunch of obsidian items. And you can buy two of the items very easily, but one of the items is the obsidian staff, 
which I couldn't buy any of in the GE because they're not actively traded at all. I tried buying them for like three to four hundred k more than they are supposedly worth, and I couldn't buy any of them. You need ten of them. I checked the wiki, and they're a one in four k drop from the Tazar creatures. So I'm not. I'm probably never going to get ten of them, but I'm leaving the offer in there because I would love the fence. Um, I added the tip jar because I don't know why not. Uh, that room hasn't changed. I did upgrade this to a marble staircase. Put a suit of armor here before realizing that you can't have rune on both sides, which I would like because, you know, OCD. This side has to be Castle Wars armor, which I don't have any of, so we just got that one. Uh, rune case. I did upgrade to marble portals and a marble scrying pool. So I did dump some money into the house along with the 5 mil still sitting in the GE for my... Uh, my obby staff offer but other than that I think I'm gonna leave it alone for now uh, I think I spent a total of 40 mil uh, on the house upgrades including what's in the GE right now so I think I'm gonna stop there uh, and oh no no it wasn't 40 mil. I guess it was 20 mil because I also forgot to mention that I bought the ring of suffering finally although I don't quite have enough points to upgrade it or to Im imbue it but I will go do that pretty soon here so as you can see I have the ring of suffering now which I was holding off on buying other than that, I think I'm just going to buy maybe some more like potions, PBM supplies, and uh, save the rest. So that is pretty much it for the money, I guess. I think I'm just going to actually work toward that long-term goal of getting an Ellie at some point, and uh, so I'm definitely not going to spend all of it. But it's been kind of fun to go on a spending spree. Let's just take a moment to appreciate this Nightmare Zone prod. It's one of these guys in this stack here. Who thinks he's still in the Nightmare Zone dream, or maybe he's botting. He could just be botting. You're, you're not fighting anything. You don't need to flick pro protect from melee anymore, dude. Uh oh, solid. It's 10 out of 10 account. Alright, I finally got my Ring of Suffering uh, imbued from Nightmare Zone, and now I'm charging it with 2,000, and I also had 90 rings of recoil in the bank, so I think 2,089 to be exact. So it has 83 and a half thousand recoil charges, so that should last me for pretty much all the time I, hopefully all the time I need at Zora, because it would be a shame if I used up all those charges and still didn't have the pet, but, so yeah, other than that, I also bought the upgrade kits that I said I was going to get for the Fury, the Occult, and the Torture, so I, other than buying more PBM supplies, that's pretty much what my cash deck's going to be at for now, going forward, and we'll just keep saving up for that Ellie. I lied, I forgot that I also didn't have our middle top and bottom, so that is what it's going to be like now. Uh, it turns out you can buy these, they're just worth a fuckload more than you want them to be. Alright, let's go build that fence. Alright, there is the fence built, looks pretty cool. I think, it, I think it cost me 7, probably somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 7.5 to 8 mil. It looks pretty good. I don't know if I would say this is worth it. I was hoping the fence would be the fence supposed to be a bit taller, but you know. Also, thanks to Southie for that PM. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and sell the loot from a, a, a few uh, DK's trips. I had a task and my max cape from the, for the Slayer cape thing procked, so I got the task again, so I could keep going with Rob. And uh, I got very unlucky with the rings, which is to say I got a lot of rings, six of them, but they were all the cheap ones, so that's kind of bullshit. So the majority of the money is coming from the Dagonoth King's bones, or the Dagonoth bones. Okay, and these don't sell for that price. Let's go ahead and do that. And we made almost four mil. And uh, we actually had to leave because, as you, as you might notice, the worlds are lagging again, as usual. So I have 58 left in the task. I'm probably just going to go and cannon those under the lighthouse because I, I've done like six and a half hours of DKs today. That's plenty for me. Alright, so today is September 8th and the Winter Tot boss finally released. The Winter Tot boss is the, the first skilling boss to come into the game. And as you can see down here in the chat box, it gives us a significant amount of fire making XP if you complete it successfully. It's 100 times your level every time you help subdue it. And you need, a, uh, you need 500 points every time in order to be eligible for a reward crate and to get a kill count, so to speak, and the XP reward. So I decided that I would go ahead and record these first five reward crates to see what kind of rewards you can get. So we got Essence GP, Maple Seeds, Dynamite U Logs, Salt Peter Oak Logs, and Teaks more pure essence. So the rewards aren't great, but again, it's it's really not difficult because it's a skilling boss. 
the only thing you're going to use is food because you need to protect yourself against the cold attacks. So I made 165k in five runs. It didn't take terribly long, and it's actually pretty relaxing as long as you watch your HP. Um, so for money making, it's gonna be very relaxing money making. It's also pretty good experience. I think they actually m may have tweaked some rewards from earlier before I was even awake, and they might tweak the XP rewards because it's actually pretty powerful. Um, but it's definitely something that's cool to try. It comes with its own Pyromancer's outfit, if you want, which boosts fire making XP. A couple of unique rewards, and they also released a new skilling pet, so that's another thing to go for. The Phoenix is the 34th pet in the game, and that comes from the reward crates if you're very lucky. So eventually I'm going to have to camp this, and I'm thinking that now is probably the best time because there's so many people doing it, but I don't know if I feel like doing that. But in any case, I'm going to go and run some errands, and then I'll come back and decide whether I want to keep camping it or not. Alright, I'm a little bit bored of Winter Tot. I've got 16 quote-unquote kill count now. I'm gonna open the rest of the crates I got and then I'm gonna be done for the time being. Oh, it actually tells you what you got here now. I didn't used to do that. Must have hotfixed it. I think it's me you see. That's actually pretty good. Shark, dynamite, gold, maple seed, Saltpeter is probably like one of the worst things you can get. Ooh, more snapdragons. So, I didn't count how many crates that was, but this is a reasonable amount of money right there. Wow, 1.2 mil from... Man, how long was that? That wasn't even that long. What the hell? That's really good money. Alright, I think I recorded the clip yesterday where I said I was going to finish up the rest of this task at regular Dagonos, but I changed my mind. I'm gonna go and finish off by soloing DKs. I only have 58 kills left, so it shouldn't be too bad. Alright, I finished off my task, and as usual, the best drops that I got were the bones. I did get a seer call though, so yay for me. Alright, I got another master reward casket here. See what we can get. Ooh. Oh, it's the Hood of Darkness. Those things are worth almost nothing, but hey, it's Emmy Page. That's probably most of the value of this clue. That's not bad. Alright, let's see what we're going to get from this master. This is probably number 14 or 15, I think. Well, that's boring as fuck. So I've got another five supply crates here to open from the Winter Todd. I've got 31 kill count. Now, I went back and I was planning on staying there for a long time, but I, I find it... It is relaxing, and it is powerful, and it's really great for XP, but of course I don't need any more levels. I don't need the XP, and lately, I don't know, like, it's a really good piece of content for most types of accounts, but if your max is like, it's kind of insanely boring at the same time as it is really useful. I don't know, it's, like, I, I always think to myself, I should go back there, and then I go for five or ten crates, and I'm like, this, I'm so bored. But anyway, let's open up the ones I got. I still haven't gotten a single piece of the outfit. Even though they... they More pages, great. They um, rebalance the drop rate of supplies. They rebalance the drop rate of the outfit. I still have yet to get a single piece of the outfit in 31. So it's not that's not very good, I don't think. I think, uh, I think I'm being a little bit unlucky at this point, but oh well. Alright, well I think it's about time to wrap up this video. It's getting a little bit on the, uh, the lengthy side. I kind of wanted to have it be a little bit longer than the first episode was, uh, but I do leave for RuneFest tomorrow, so I just won't have time to get any more substantial clips, so I'm going to go ahead and look at the boss log, see what's changed. Uh, not a lot has changed, except for mostly it's uh, the DK's kills, because uh, I did, I think, a collective 300 to 350 between a couple tasks at DK's, all at DK's, so those changed quite a bit. I think the other big change is Corp, because it was like 33 before, and now it's 76. And of course, I did get the Ellie split at like 39 or something crazy early, considering I had barely done any Corp. Or no, not 39, 60, 68, 69. Why did I say 39? But still barely any Corping to be part of an Ellie split. Just super lucky, considering they're one out of almost 4,100. And uh, I did... Like 35 Kraken, I think. I got an actual boss task of that. Of course, I've done some Winter Tot, but I'm already kind of bored of that. And uh, it's pretty much the only thing that's changed, I think, kill, or, uh, kill count wise. And of course, there were some more Master Clue loots. And uh, no new pets, but with my bank being about 250 mil bigger than last episode, I really can't complain about not getting any pets. 
So anyway, I do leave for RuneFest tomorrow. Uh, tomorrow's only on the 13th. I get into London on the 14th, and then I am there for a full week, so I have a couple days before the event and a few days after the event to do touristy stuff and just hang out with friends, so it's going to be great. I will be recording lots of clips on my cell phone and then cutting them together into a vlog when I get home, so if you... Uh, if you're upset because you're, you can't go to RuneFest, um, you will get to see my experience with it. You will get to see a lot of what uh, you would have seen if you had gone, so get ready for that vlog. It is coming when I get back. Uh, I'm honestly going to have... I know I'm going to have a great time. Like There's no speculation about it. It's going to be the best trip of my life, probably, and I'm really excited. But anyway, thank you for watching this part two of my pet hunting series. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Goodbye.